हिंदी में यू नो वॉइस वो विजय यू नो दैट कॉमेडियन कृष्णा ओ या 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 ही वॉइस नाइस नाइस तो वेरी ऑड चॉइस आई तो वाज थिंकिंग कि मतलब कैसे ही होगा देन आई हर्ड किसी प्रोमो में सम हिंदी प्रोमो इज देयर अपेरेंटली या या नो द वॉइस वाज फाइन ओनली नॉट बैड इट वाज फिटिंग इज बॉडी या 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 इट वाज फिटिंग हां या या बट बट इन लियो पे इंटरेस्टिंग यही था कि मोस्ट ऑफ द मूवीज सेट इन शिमला सो इट्स लाइक लोकल्स आर स्पीकिंग इन हिंदी सो दैट हिंदी इज मेंटेनड हां 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 ठीक है सो दैट इज स्टिल देयर हां हां But the then version, they dubbed few as like some of the yeah 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 English still Hindi. उसके लिए देना Tamil subtitles. Yeah yeah yeah. But some versions are actually have the dubbed mm-hmm. Tamil thing over them. Yeah. And so, and, the, and the more interesting thing I saw in the Hindi dub and later I saw in the Tamil dub. So, जो अरे coffee shop में जो fight है the music which is playing. In the Hindi ah. dub, it's a completely separate song. Ha ha ha. It's a Hindi song. It's a Hindi song only. And in in the Tamil version, it's a completely separate song. Completely. Ha ha ha. And I'm like, that must have taken a lot of work to think that which song will go. Which song will come? Because ah. the the track which plays at the end is hmm. from a film called Pola Dhawan. Ah. And the one which plays in Hindi is Me Who Don, right? Me Who Don. Yes, yes, yes. So I mean, they were trying to find whatever could work. Yes. So, but the thought क्या है? हाँ, I'm so I think what these at least some of the filmmakers actually have put in work into maintaining like working for different languages. I mean this and I've I've heard from people like Animal also since it has five language uh, mm-hmm. thing. Every language has its own this thing separate thing done properly. So it's not just like throw away. Ki chalo pan India ke naam pe they are making pan India. They are actually, I mean, at least the filmmakers are working. वो movie throw away होगा. कुछ काम तो ठीक से करने दो. Movie throw away होगा. वो तो हम सबको पता. I mean, Sandeep, at least we know Sandeep, how it's going to be. Be Sandeep Reddy Wanga after all. Guy puts a the article. <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying. At least there is some intent. Yes, 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 we know yes. how it's going to be from now. Yes, yes, yes. but it's that kind of masala which works for generally for the masses i was what i'm saying and honestly i think i think one of the reasons why animal might work for even viewers like me is because the setting is the gangster city ha huh. in that regard i think it's easier to swallow to a certain degree true i mean the yeah. violent aspect and yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. it's easier to swallow yeah huh. to a certain degree makes sense makes sense to chal shuru karte abhi संजीत एंड आई हैव अमरत्या विद मी एंड टूडे वी डिस्कस द न्यू तलपति विजय रिलीज लियो विच इज डिरेक्टेड बाय लोकेश का नगराज uh if people don't know about it it is based on the history of violence mm. john wagner's graphic novel graphic novel graphic. which was also made in a uh, us with um, uh, david cronenberg direction and uh, vigo, vigo mortensen as the lead yeah. um it is wholeheartedly i would say a very much a lokesh film but let's get into our initial thoughts about the film what we thought what we expected and uh, general experience and then we will go into uh, our spoilers and just yeah. general discussion about the film so yeah so should i go first or you will go ah first? you go you go it's okay yeah nay nee, i remember you liking this movie way more than me to us ha ah, i mean we didn't discuss yeah, yeah. Properly. i thought we'll discuss properly yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of no no it's like uh, <clears throat> now i am more of a as a lokesh kanagraj uh i think it's safe to say that among the newer tamil filmmakers i think we are his fans to a certain degree mm-hmm. because yeah as a lokesh kanagraj fan i am even a fan of his very weaker stuff like i believe master is a very interesting movie and i mean Honestly. we discussed before also how much we actually yeah. appreciate master yeah he actually appreciate master a lot more than most people yeah so, yeah. <laughs> yeah so master i like master a lot and that also stars thalapati vijay i mm. genuinely think lokesh kanagraj 
he is one of the few directors who can actually elicit a very different performance out of Thalapathy Vijay. Hmm 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 hmm. I mean, properly follow a character and not just properly follow the of the star. Yeah, simply not follow the person of the star. And very honestly, I think Leo as a movie is surprisingly a very strong Vijay showcase, and that yeah, yeah. really really worked for me. Uh-huh. really work for me as a movie itself i think this is not his strongest work mm-hmm. uh, i felt this is not his strongest work, but i enjoyed it quite mm-hmm. a lot it's a it was a very good theatrical experience for me because course, yeah. again the usp of kanagraja stream is the action set pieces and how yeah. he's constructing a movie and i'll get into more details on what what makes mm-hmm. this movie so attractive to me but the parts which are good Hmm. They are excellent. They are excellent. Right. Hmm. The editing, the voice work, all of it. They are all excellent. Excellent leader. Hmm. Which is why, which is why, when the bigger stuff happens, they more than a lot. I think they disappoint me to a certain extent when hmm. the movie doesn't hit the higher ranges than say a Kaithi did hmm. or say a Bikram did. But overall, I enjoyed it. I genuinely did. And out of five. film career lokesh has made five feature films right yeah yeah i what a, think, yeah five yeah five this is fifth yeah this is for a five film career i think this it's an impressive streak yeah yeah i think so too very like, there are not many filmmakers who have this kind of career or won't even have one like it's mm. very i mean it's for at least for indian uh, yeah 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 cinema and all that i think it's still very extremely impressive in mm. many ways so I mean, I really loved the film. Mm-hmm. I think most than most other people. Mm-hmm. Um, I and I was very surprised that people didn't enjoy it. And and it was immediately after I finished the film, I opened Letterbox because I wanted to see what the general reaction. I I was pretty sure people would have watched like the earlier shows and all that. And I went for like a nine a.m. show in uh, in Delhi because mm-hmm. I have I I properly searched where I could find uh, a Tamil version with almost a full house. So that's what I did. Uh, mm-hmm. and then i went later in the evening as well once more in the same mm-hmm. cinema mm-hmm. so i did my research because i wanted to get that whole euphoria otherwise i i mm-hmm. think it would not be the like the optimum viewing experience mm-hmm. so i really enjoyed it uh, as an experience and as the as a film as well uh, enjoyment was maximum i mm-hmm. agree that there are flaws in the film of course um, mm-hmm. i mean lokesh is not like i mean he's a great director but he's not like a perfect perf- like if you look, yeah. Vikram and isolation. It has flaws too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is his technique with which he hides those flaws mm-hmm. is what works. And I think those techniques maybe not are not working in the same way for Leo. This is my assumption. Mm-hmm. But in general, I had yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of fun. I think this is Vijay's career best performance. Career best comes close easily. Easily, I'm like I'm yeah, yeah, shocked yeah. to see some of the <laughs> some of the things he's doing in this. The movie. range is massive. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, you had this gear, you had this gear. Where, where was this? Yeah, because you, you know, like we've discussed this also before that I, I, I have not liked Vijay or his films at all in his life. You are the Ajit guy in my <laughs> life. Yeah, like even Tupaki, which people say is his best, was mm-hmm. his best until recently when Master, until Master Ali. I didn't enjoy Tupaki. I like Morgadas as a director because I think he has a very mm-hmm. certain style of masala and. Yeah. All. but vijay for me has never worked. i have not seen kathi which i will agree uh, which people have said is one of his other works but whatever is done with atli and uh, or other oh, more we, oh, we are going to get into yeah. yeah sarkar or whatever before also i have seen bairava also which many people haven't or fully whatever i have not enjoyed his work at all till now i think some of his films are still fun like the films are fun but not vijay hmm. uh, like gilli and all which i watched like older stuff but in general i think he can he's old i think he's in mid mid 40s but he still looks very young so people mm. haven't utilized him that well i feel there's so much more to him than just whatever star image of him i Which think i, I huh. think genuinely i'm sorry to interrupt i think genuinely no, no. the one of the reasons why both you and i were so drawn to master me specifically because Mm-hmm. master was more of a gateway of me gateway for me to uh, tamil commercial cinema to a certain degree yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. 
what drew me to vijay because i had known about vijay obviously yeah, i had yeah, seen yeah. poki i had seen poki yeah, yeah. i had mm. seen poki i know who vijay is and mm. what drew me to master is that i hadn't seen vijay used like this like mm. flawed mm. flawed acting is absolutely. acting is age also to a certain degree he's a yeah, older many, many guy many. he's an older guy and that is why master worked so much for of course setupati setupati was a big factor in that movie yeah of course setupati's yeah. presence was a huge factor mm. but and that is why that is why i think leo the progression of vijay as an actor from master to leo master yeah massive because mm. i think leo leo is also very interesting as a movie also because mm. i think I think if we are, if we are going to get into some of the details because I think let's 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 get into yeah, yeah. how much of yeah 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 so I think if you look at Leo from the perspective of say uh, Parthiban the mm. uh, present day Vijay character mm. that Vijay is very much the older uh, jaded uh, white shirt wearing uh, not mm. fit middle aged guy with a mm. Beard and everything. I mean, he's still fit. He's still Vijay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vijay after all. So he's still fit, but he's not that fit. He doesn't have an intro shot. He doesn't have a hero pose. None of it. He's a yeah. The last time somebody did not do a hero shot with Vijay was ironically Nelson in in Beast. Correct. And that was the most. And that was the most Vijay movie of all time. <laughs> it was like Jesus Christ. Yeah. But. Mm-hmm. in this there is no intro shot or anything his quote unquote intro shot was him talking with his son that mm. was his intro shot correct correct i mean does, and, i feel in many ways he does have a, a hero introduction with with just his eyes yes yes, yes. i think also lokesh kanagaraj uh, yeah right the eye shot the eye shot is a very loki signature yeah 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 <laughs> but what impressed me more here is that mm. i think the flashback sequence on the other hand hmm. which which has its slew of problems the flashback sequence yeah yeah we'll get into huge it huge problem huge yeah, problem yeah. but i thought the flashback sequence what worked for me is that the flashback sequence is almost like meta meta textually showing the vijay fans one because the flashback sequence is commercial vijay full on full on absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. flashback sequence is full commercial vijay he's yeah, like yeah. he's like jumping up and down he has the bangle Are full nimble footed and full nimble footed yeah dancing through. yeah hmm. and i was like nice so meta textually it's also like him trying to regain his commercial status throughout the movie and in the end when he opens that chest and he takes the bangle it's almost like him you know embracing yeah. that commercial nature again Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, I mean, I it does have that, right. that vibe to it for sure. In that sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. But again, and it's just, uh, but also, it's like, I think even in interviews, like Kanagraj had mm. said, right, that he had like Vijay was quote unquote experimenting. First of all, correct. Right. We'll we we'll, we'll address that because even I have thoughts about it. And... Yeah, yeah. First but of all, Tamil actors. First of all, Tamil commercial actors thinking that acting good is experimenting is just okay, man. Okay, I mean, I mean, it's it, it's also not just them, na. It's it's the fans. They go crazy. Yes. We've seen that happen with so many others when actors have gone like somewhere else. Even Telugu actors. I mm-hmm. remember. Uh, uh, my, I mean, th- I think Telugu is far more polarized. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. I remember watching some Mahesh Babu movie. was i think I, f- i forgot the name but when it had come out um, it had complete negative reaction oh one we can sh- talk about for sure is one nenu ka dine oh uh, yeah 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 oh yeah i have seen parts of it bits of it okay, i so think it's I the think most weirdest wild babu movie in my i i really like that film i really enjoyed it uh, i watched it in first year college i remember and mm. i had it had come out like i think one year before something like that mm. and i thought it was really fun and mm. I think it was so concept heavy and everything, and mm-hmm. it was just enjoyable. But people, this fans hated it. The film bombed. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. I don't know. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it made. I don't know. But it was just. If I remember correctly, it did not make a lot of money. I no, it didn't. Reading the Wikipedia article, it did not make a lot. Maybe of money. it didn't then. Uh, yeah. But whenever that has happened with with stars and all, just it's just a bad reaction from fans and 
films don't work that way i think mm-hmm. beast also had a lot of potential if it had not been panned so much i feel yeah uh, and we've discussed that also in previously of how what our reaction to beast was as well but again but again beast is beast panning though did not stop tamil box office right because that movie is no i'm going to be i'm going to be very impolite here that movie is dog shit okay but <laughs> it's like that movie is utter dog shit yeah but, it was a big wasted opportunity yeah yeah but uh, but that movie if we recall correctly that movie came out opposite kgf and it yeah i think sh- one day before i yeah something. yeah it made a shit ton of money in tamil nadu yeah yeah, yeah. it was still a super hit it made yeah. crazy profit for the producers that's why i mean nelson still got to make jailer which hmm. is again all time blockbuster film i think yeah. he still got to make because we still did make money right yeah, but yeah. the whole point was when actors choose to do something different there is and i think now as well i have i think yeah the, leo, the leo backlash i think is also coming from the fandom true, itself true true because they are like that's it's worse than beast which i am very surprised and and we oh, we, we, we <laughs> <talk about> the, <laughs> that is definitely let's easy. talk about the plotting i think my first reaction to the the narrative was it is a little weird hmm. but my point of view towards it is i think lokesh kanagraj was doing what was right what felt right to him is what i f- what i feel may and it is technically as a format very different from most telugu tamil films very is different is it though is it though i don't think that's so. what i felt i mean it is i mean there are very okay so there are elements which happen in the narrative which felt like there must be something to it but there is nothing i mean you're seeing this character do so many normal things mm-hmm. yeah? like you get him to go see go to a, a, a temple teach his son driving or, and in a very different way the presentation is also different mm-hmm. it's not just a star doing starry things it's an actor mm-hmm. doing maybe decent things or whatever mm-hmm. uh, normal normal quote, unquote, normal the things. normal stuff yeah ha huh. and i think the way and even if so my plotting thing also comes from the second half um there's a lot of things that happen in one night yes and it feels like a lot because a lot yes. is happening in just one night that trisha goes uh, to yes to know him uh, gvm goes to the jail to get to know yes. him. then there's a whole flashback sequence while uh, vijay is still in his house uh, yes. with his daughter and he goes to see his son and all that is happening in the same night the whole chase sequence happens in the same night same night yes yes, yes. so i feel it is weird for a lot of viewers because they are trying to process a lot of things which are which is happening and this is again just my assumption and my um look towards mm-hmm. it and i feel a lot of decisions are working for me because i feel because i have empathy for kanagaraj in the first place because mm-hmm. i feel he is doing things what feels right to him mm-hmm. not what probably was a better choice i i think so but okay. i don't know what do you think uh i think even while i was uh, writing my review i was like uh, first of all i had read the history of violence graphic novel we, uh-huh. we need to make a very important distinction here that yeah this movie is adapted from the graphic novel it's Absolutely. not an adaptation of the movie movie because it's because, because the film is is a drama it's not the film is cronenberg cronenberg's movie is very different from the graphic novel yeah. it's very yeah. different the first, the first half is still the same the huh, second half correct. is very different absolutely yeah, okay. yeah very different and a history of violence i am going to say it completely right now a history of violence as a graphic novel is not the greatest graphic novel ever made or something it's not even mm-hmm. a seminal seminal stuff or anything it's mm-hmm. a pretty decent graphic novel mm-hmm. okay it's a very familiar template it should be a very familiar template to many yeah, yeah. audiences and to bollywood audiences because absolutely. this is also following the you know the famous basha template Correct. or even basha. so many others I, or even i brought brought up hum i think mukul ganan's hum also i think correct even, correct and even if you've seen uh, chiranjeevi's indra yeah indra yeah yeah yeah, yeah. same template yeah. i mean uh, same same template. like we've seen this kind of story so many times yeah so so for listeners who listeners who don't know what the template is the basic hmm. template is this we are following a hero who is living a normal life but who has a checkered past now mm. the checkered past is so violent that the violence will catch up to him in the future okay yeah that hey. is that is the basic template simple basic and even uh, the the 
that film yaar ajit film vidalam same vidalam yes same thing same thing yeah 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 <laughs> so in this case so in this template like if i am not wrong uh, kamal hasan's vishwarupa mm-hmm. vishwarupa as a te- vishwarupa also follows the same claim template the problem is the yeah, template is I... so much used yeah it's so much used mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. he needed two movies to make it effective that was the problem <laughs> now yeah, the yeah. thing now the thing is that the template works mm. when the differentiation between the two characters of the past and the present, the present. is very extreme yeah 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 because that mm. because that is when the reconciliation matters which correct, is why correct. in hum which is why in hum in the future when amitabh bachchan's character mm. is shown he's older he's wearing us he's wearing specs He's mm. like he's like very peaceful. He doesn't want to fight at all. No violence. Stops no violence. his brothers from brothers from violence. Yeah. He stops his brothers from violence. It's an extreme form, right? Yeah, yeah. It's an extreme form. The more extreme the differentiation is, the more effective the heroic heroic you know rising of the heroism. Catharsis or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Catharsis yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that is the basic template. My thing is that. So Lokesh Kanagraj is following this template only. He's taking the mm. history of violence skeleton, but this template should be familiar to a lot of Bollywood mm. and Tamil commercial movie audience because this is the same template. Yeah, I am yeah. not saying I am not saying that this is like hidden fortress in Star Wars. This is not that. No, no. I am no. not saying that history of violence has inspired <laughs> Bash Chaur Ham. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's just that the ideas are universal. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. Now the thing is, I think. what i think lokesh kanagraj was very much uh, you know faithful to the skeleton to the mm. extent that i think even if he wanted to make it may, go towards the storyline which should have been the better choice i think he was unable to because he could not get out of the skeleton it correct correct that's i i think so that's very much my thought as well yeah but so because i will tell you what because i'll tell you huh, uh, huh. like there was a portion in which you know like the differentiation which was going on there was a portion mm, and mm. also i think vijay's conviction completely self is to be yeah yeah every, for sure each and every time when vijay is saying that i am not leo i am not leo you kind of are fooled into you it you kind of are fooled into it yeah 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 and for a moment i'm like look i'm i know that you are following this template i know that you are going to do a double blind and you are going to fool me again i get it but mm-hmm. what a moment i was like what if you didn't mm. what if you actually didn't what if the subversion is this is actually a double role and leo leo's history and parthiban's history is completely different different yeah 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 uh, and the fact that kanagraj was actually successful in fooling me to such an extent mm. throughout the third act mm. i have to give props to that correct correct i, I agree i have to because I mean, this is ha huh, that's that's exactly what i was trying to say because i feel uh, let's look at his other uh, narratives mm-hmm. also let's look at vikram okay mm-hmm. i feel the the we i mean kamal hasan dies i mean uh, spoilers of course we're talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. in vikram vikram dies in the beginning yes no he is not going to die right but we yes. al- go along with the investigation and yes. i think investigation as a narrative form is any way engaging for you Yes. because we are kind of trying to figure out oh what's happening and through investigation we are also kind of trying to figure out the character mm. we get to know more about the character what kind of a person is so when the audience is also discovering with with the characters or with the narrative it tends to become generally very engaging for the audience i think he's trying to do something very similar in leo he's trying for you to discover leo uh, through other people's accounts as well or what pe- other people think Mm-hmm. which i think is a little loose here because the narrative is not investigation it's more about staying still staying with the character yes. so you are with parthiban all the time it's not like it's more parthiban. character focused it's more exactly yeah. exactly so so we don't really get into that narrative of not knowing it through other people which i thought was possibly the intention and it didn't come through as well like i feel that is what resulted in weaker in my opinion weaker uh, both uh, das brothers Oh yeah, me and oh yeah, we, I I I completely agree with you on that part. It's like yes. somebody told me somebody hmm. told me this on Facebook also. It's like Loki Loki shows the more interesting villains in the first half itself, 
Mm. And then he kills them off. Mm. <laughs> in favor of the lesser interest in Das Brothers. Exactly. Because, exactly. because Sandy Master, because the Sandy Master portrayed a serial killer, mad serial wow. killer, and mm. the kidnapping victim, they were way more interesting. I'm like, go with me through that. Mm. Show me mm. this more. Something this more, more could be yeah. that. I mean, also, I mean, the their ends in that, the how they are die. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love that sequence, honestly. I love it. I, mean, I absolutely love it. Yeah. I actually saw that people were like, they're tired of watching the same thing. But I'm like, isn't it the same universe that you signed up for or the same director? They all have their own signature. So yeah. I mean, I think it. Re- I think the action works really well. I I was, I was really enjoying that. I really enjoyed this kind of. I was you laughing what, that kind of violence. So I yeah, think it's you, my you real know what opinion. you know what I noticed this time. It's like hmm. Lokesh somehow. It's like he's doing the. Oh, what is that editing called? You know, uh, the match cuts. He's hmm. doing some. It seems like a wonderful match cuts. It's like uh, in the hmm. first sequence when one of when the leader of the leader of the you know assassins. He's like, huh. he uh, he put a knife into one of the hostages, huh. you know, and he had thrown the he had put the knife inside the hostage, right, in the mm. chest. Mm. He draws the knife out. The match cuts happens, and then immediately outside of the outside of the cage, the, 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 the assassin the, pulls out the rod. The knife of the, like, of the dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that's awesome. That ni- match yeah. cut is awesome. The, yeah, he yeah. does a similar he does a similar match cut in the second half. But mm. here it is shown to be a flashback sequence. Like uh, Leo sees some person hanging from his cafe, the signature sign of his cafe. Then cuts he to sees Sanjay. that the cam- yeah he sees that the camera cuts and he shows Sanjay that character playing how he- yeah and then he cuts yeah. back again. I'm like, see, these are the type mm. of stuff you don't see most of the time. No, no. Like- so the directorial flourishes are amazing. I really yeah. like. All even I think the editing, the way he's kind of trying to make it work, there's that uh, intercut right where he's trying to tell, kind of telling what the 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 serial killer thing, picture yourself sequence. Oh yeah, yeah. It is intercut. With... The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That by the way, uh, first of hmm. all, yeah, that intercutting is very well done. I think hmm. because hmm. Uh, he's telling you to picture yourself while the violence is occurring. Hmm. On the one hand, he's not making it boring. On the other hand, I think Vijay or Vijay's. Uh, I think uh, uh, narration itself is helping you to, hmm. you know, hmm. and cutting away, no, helping like, to maintain a tonality. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That uh, pictures yourself thing that that by the way is is not even in the actual history of violence comic book. It's not. Hmm. It's basically John Wagner's uh, preface. It's hmm. John Wagner's introduction to his graphic novel. Lokesh basically takes that entire opening paragraph of his introduction and supplants it into the dialogue. Mm. And I was like, I was like, and I was surprised that it works, but it works. It works mm. very well this time around. And mm. that's why, and which is very, which was very impressive for me also, because it was like, you're choosing sections of a very mediocre or a very normal graphic novel, and you're mm. trying to elevate it your own way. Yeah, 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 of course. I'm not expecting Cronenberg here because what Cronenberg did in 2005's History of Violence is hmm. make it more psychological. He's showing the psychological yeah, very because, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, interior and because, just feeling it. Yeah, yeah, because the term a history of violence, that entire phrase means completely different things. A history of violence. Hmm. Could be taken as a psychological term of yeah, yeah. Violent, generational violence, yeah. violence yeah. generation. Yeah, but yeah. a history of violence could also be taken as a legal term in describing criminals. Mm-hmm. A criminal with a history of violence. Mm-hmm. So then he puts out the list, you know, a history of violence, how much of violent deeds he has done, how much of all of it he has done. Mm-hmm. So Lokesh okay. is taking the other part. And mm-hmm. that's what and that's what I said that you can't expect a movie to be a masterpiece all the time. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just saying that hmm. expectations also need to be managed to a certain degree. Absolutely. I think the biggest killer for this film, for people, hmm. are the expectations. It's because yes, yes. it was hyped too much. I think yes. the hype killed off for the experience for a lot of people. I mean, I know we can still detach and still watch a film and have our own way of knowing it. But I think people were just way too invested 
in the whole lcu thing and we'll talk about the lcu elements also but i feel yeah 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 expectations just i think the expectations also come from the filmmaker's aesthetic yes because the aesthetic is similar you kind of in your brain you you try to switch on ki are it's going to be great mm-hmm. and if it doesn't turn out to be what you think you prob because there were people who were making theories out of these things yaar it's yes. never going to it's never helping it's never it's helping. never going to pan out the way you think just, exactly I, i don't know i think that's why i really enjoyed because i never had any expectations because i just wanted to enjoy a film i mm-hmm. wanted to enjoy a loki film with um, with vijay and i thought and to me to me the trailer looked fantastic so i thought oh yeah and that trailer then, was got that trailer was got brilliant and absolutely you so, score on your score in the trailer was something else that yeah 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 so so i my expectations were only from the trailer not because and i think i may have been way too excited when i saw uh, the sanjay that teaser which had mm. come out on his birthday which i thought was just fabulous the presentation of of the villain yeah yeah i thought maybe the villains would be just too larger than yeah, yeah. or yeah, just yeah, like yeah. way to have too much of strong but again that's my expectations mm. but i didn't let myself weigh down by those expectations yeah. I, i just went in to enjoy so i enjoyed yeah I, but get it i know the flaws we, we yeah yeah we are going to discuss well. the flaws also and i can be i can be detached myself and i can tell you what the flaws are according mm-hmm. to me to a certain extent too mm-hmm. but i also want to focus on the positives a lot because i think people are ignoring some of the positives also absolutely the it, i just think people should watch the film yeah just the film and not have ke oh they didn't show this and they showed yeah. that Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not how it works, right? That's not yeah. how possibly he was making the film. Yeah, yeah, and I also, think, huh? Go ahead, go ahead. And the thing is that okay, so first of all, uh, I think the opening section of the first fifteen minutes where the hyena enslave and everything, how he's using the drone shot, mm. I think it's very inventive to a certain degree. I mm. can I can understand why I can understand bringing in hyenas to a village in Shibla is a bit of a you know eyebrow raising to a certain extent, but. Mm. I will buy it. I will buy it mm. because I will buy it because you are telling me that he's an animal rescue, animal mm. rescue guy, mm-hmm. and you are telling us that you know, and the way he is telling you and the and his relationship with uh, Gautam Vasudev Menon's character, mm. all of it, it's telling you that there is a partnership which exists. Nicely established. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nicely established. And right? even the, this relationship with the son, like. Oh yeah, the relationship Call, with the son is very well it's established. It's a callback later on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very well established. It's mm. honestly very well established. And mm. I think that uh, the CGI of the hyena is actually quite well done. I was yeah. very impressed. Yeah. Mm. I was very very impressed by that. And so overall, the fighting and everything, I think it was a nice mixture of taking in Vijay's heroism and commercial elements while still maintaining a semblance of normalcy to the realism to it, like yeah, which yeah. is universal you know, realism. To, yeah, to yeah. It's not. It's not like like Vijay. Vijay punches the hyena in the nose or through the no, upper no, cut. No, no, nothing, nothing. Upper cut, see, was upper tussle. Like uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. It doesn't upper cut the guy like uh, <laughs> like some Bengali actors who do with their uh, tigers. Anyway, continue. Anyway, we are not going to talk about Bahar. Uh, so uh. we we are not going there. So and the. More imp- more fun thing I liked is that when Vijay's character finally after that fight after he walks off, Vijay turns towards the camera and then the opening section is almost like a Marvel, almost like a Marvel studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Introduction. <laughs> and like, nice. It's Very a good dark. title card. I think you should use in all of his films. Yeah, yeah, whatever. you should use that. Yeah, you yeah. should use that. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Have... And even the the sequence where he goes back to his cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call back to Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Also, the score. Yeah, the Goodfellas. Uh, Scorsese's is open. Uh, Scorsese section where he's entering. Yeah, great. Cook well, Cabana. well one take. Yeah, well one take sequence. Beautifully done. I mean, yeah. very well done. And secondly, uh, the score, the music which is playing in the background. Mm. The man about the town. I think that was the song. Yeah. Very well done. I mean, it it works wonderfully. Yeah. And that is why I think Kanagraj's movies work with people like us because. Kanagraj is a filmmaker who loves shit we like. Like mm. he grew up with Rambo, he grew up with Commando, he grew up with Quentin yeah, Tarantino, yeah, he grew up yeah. with Christopher Nolan. Yeah. He likes shit we like. So yeah, yeah, yeah. His sensibility mm. is very much like our sensibility. Mm-hmm. 
so that is why whenever he does something like this whenever he instructs anirudh to use more classic rock or whenever he instructs anirudh to use a western flavor or like some electronic music or some electronic music or something like that it always works there is another sequence which reminds me and the song just came out on youtube by the way uh, the new uh, leo leo's song when no, uh, one. He, just, just recent one which came out uh the moment where uh, vijay's character uh, parthiban actually becomes paranoid due to the sound due to sounds and everything and that's why vijay's uh-huh. character I'm is like scared. yeah i'm shit scared and the music which is playing in the background mm. god god dear soundtrack such a yeah, god dear yeah. soundtrack i'm like it's that um brad pitt homage also <laughs> yeah 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 that, <laughs> yeah it's a cctv camera thing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all these touches yeah yeah and and i think it's also because uh, kanagraj i think said in his interviews also that he treats his uh, albums like a soundtrack he doesn't treat mm. his albums like a album of songs mm. songs yeah it doesn't make sense because his style is very different his style is yeah his style is very western oriented with commercial elements of tamil cinema yeah, yeah. critical day i mean That's i think it. in some interview i heard him talk about that he writes the the film with the uh, uh, the soundtrack of hollywood films and all that yeah, yeah. i'm assuming like, that has an effect on on the like kind his of temp music thing. yeah his temp music i think is more you know hollywood or english songs and then mm. he instructs anirudh to make yeah. a soundtrack based on the vibes he's getting from that yeah 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 possibly yeah 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 yeah, yeah quite possibly because because it feels like that and mm-hmm. that is why that is why all these touches all these touches are working for us right and yeah yeah, yeah. He also does the very typical thing. I don't know what Hollywood's obsession with it nowadays that opening credits should be put as late into the movie as possible. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Tamil movies are also getting into that game at this point because the <laughs> yeah it's a game changer for them, right? Because they've been doing it in a certain way, and now people are doing it in a certain way. So. Yeah, because because that interval block, by the way, mm-hmm. fabulous interval block. Fabulous. So, I think the first half itself is just fantastic. I mean. because Fantastic. when first half ended and actually it was since it was a morning show i had to call someone in the morning and i couldn't as soon as it was interval i was like shit what am i supposed to do? and i completely forgot it was because i was so much into the narrative hmm. i was like this is going amazing this, yeah i mean i think it was it's a banger i mean for me it's, it was perfect banger well, inter- banger banger interval rock it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like when badass when the song badass is playing first of all that's cool yeah. is gorgeously done that refed the distortion of the track so yeah. good yeah and, yeah. and then the, yeah, and the then he did the black mask on the yeah 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 it's the like, reel of the photo and just yeah yeah, yeah. i think i particularly don't have any problems with the first half and yeah. i just, and we will just drift to the second half now and i think the biggest problem itself lies in how the narrative charts out and yeah. i i just told you i think i i'm trying to justify it by saying what lokesh did what he felt right Hmm. To, for the narrative but doing that i think he compromise a lot on the characters yes i again he is staying way too faithful towards the template and that i exactly. think is a problem and very much with the character like with it's a it's yeah. stretching out uh, um parthiban very well yeah yeah, yeah 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 just because he's he's servicing that he kind of forgets to service the other characters because yes. he cannot possibly place those characters somewhere and have something about them right we yeah. get to and i feel very interesting ideas though like sanjay dat's character antony das is is a devout christian he's superstitious mm. he has a he's a tamil mm. but he lives in telangana mm-hmm. and, has a, and has a tobacco factory yeah so i think there are so many interesting touches very 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 things. interesting ideas for a drug quote and quote the lokesh cinematic universe's main theme is mm. eradicating a drug free society so kathi mm. was about drugs vikram mm. was about drugs this is about mm. tobacco yeah 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 this is about tobacco the whole dakura thing i thought there was so the, much more to it mm. yeah yeah there's so much more to it and which is why the flashback scene i am going to be very honest with you the flashback is atrocious i i genuinely think the flashback is atrocious because okay. i think that flashback is atrocious because the entire emotional hook of that flashback doesn't work at all because i never got to know the characters no yeah like, yeah no, there though, is no time only and yeah, that was... like and i feel since it is a third hand um uh flashback narration 
Yeah. It doesn't have that kind of and I think he says also like if you're hearing like a little bit of story and you're behaving like this if I told you the whole thing I don't know how you'll react. The yeah. character uh, yeah, the yeah. one he goes Yeah, Miskin's character, right? No, he's yeah, not Miskin. Yeah. Miskin is the in the opening. He's the one who drives. He's the gangster. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that is uh, Mansoor. Mansoor, Mansoor Ali. Correct, Khan. Mansoor Khan. So, Mansoor Khan. So, so he says, uh, he tells GVM, GVM's character, yeah. uh, I'm telling you this much story and you're behaving this way. If I tell you the story properly, I don't know how you'll react. Are so, so tell me the story properly. Da? Kya hai? <laughs> I, mean, I think th- that is a cop out. I would agree with you. I didn't think it was atrocious because I loved Vijay's opening, how the camera zooms past his cigarette and I don't know, like the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the, the what do you call that? The camera. Mokobot. Mokobot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it zips and through his uh, you cigarette, his eyes. Be- you won't believe how angry I was while I was writing the review that I could not remember the name of the camera. After I had submitted the review, I was like, yeah. It's Mokobot. Why didn't I remember it? No, so, so that's what I'm saying. The way he was introduced, and I really like that kind of action because, in general, I wouldn't appreciate it. But if you've seen Kaidi, Kaidi yeah. has very similar action. It's zip- yeah, yeah, yeah. People do fly a little bit off. Like it's a, it's a eagle. It's that eagle eye thing. It's like through the perspective of an eagle or something. Correct, 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 yeah. correct. So yeah. I think that really works. I think. Since the whole narration is happening, he's telling, oh, they needed to transport this much kg. Uh, okay, even even the Anurag Kashyap cameo works for me because I was enjoying with my audience, honestly. No, I don't know whether it works for me. I mean, what a weird ass cameo. See, what that's what I'm saying. It is very cameo. weird. He's just doing what feels right to him. See, that's yeah. what I'm trying to justify. Yeah. I agree with you. It's not great. The flashback no. is just, is in many ways, is a throwaway. It's I a think, throwaway. I yeah. think it still has decent moments. Hmm. Uh, Vijay has absolute conviction when he's going yeah, against yeah. his father and he's yeah. shouting Appa and all that. And I'm like, shit, I can feel him. But yeah, yeah. the emotion when is... Was the last time, at that point to, when was the last time you looked at a Vijay performance and said, oh my god, I can feel him? Yeah, when I, was I, the I, last time? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Don't <laughs> ask me, you're asking the wrong person completely. <laughs> and it's no. the, but, that's the, but that's the thing. I... I think what completely failed me is number one is like uh, mm. Anthony Das's entire you know that entire thread about him being superstitious and using human sacrifices. I don't know but that felt so much like a, again it felt like too much information being thrown into you at such a short amount of time you don't That's have the problem. time to process. That's you don't the have time problem. to process. I mean and it needed some scenes for the character to live. The character doesn't live like yeah, yeah, yeah. Universe, that's the problem. And I wanted to know so like so the I twin was... sister, the twin sister. I was saying, yeah. wait, where did that come from? Of very... all things, where did that come from? So I I agree with you, it is a throwaway, but I still feel the moments in it still work for me. Hmm. Uh again, I, I wanted to know more about Anthony and Harold's relationship. How Harold is kind of trying to say, okay, I would select Leo, but he doesn't select his sister, Eliza. Yeah, yeah. So little little notes, like I just feel were left out on in his like, pocket bay. diary Dated bay or something Dated bay or something like that no i and feel I'm it not... wasn't even written i feel it's underwritten that way yeah i'll tell you what happened i think i think again it's like him remaining completely faithful to the template because even That's, in i agree history, with you i agree but again I even would in a history of violence even in uh, a history of violence the graphic novel hmm. there is a very much extended flashback sequence which is called part two only like okay. telling you the story of you know, mm-hmm. the main mm-hmm. character, what he was, how did he mm-hmm. get involved in this gangster life and everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, it was a bo- very boring thing. It's yeah. like, it it was a very boring thing. But at least it had enough of a build-up and everything that even if you're boring, you understand why he's doing it. Mm-hmm. And even if you look at the template of the, you know, the Basha template or the Hum template or everything, it's like, it's yeah. a, whenever you're doing, whenever you're doing a flashback sequence and everything, you mm. at least have a, you you at least need to give it time. And mm. interestingly, when I saw Monogram today, mm. I realized that Lokesh's proclivity of inserting flashbacks in the second half out of nowhere, that came from Monogram. Uh-huh, I mean, he, he's well averse to that kind of narrative form, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because because mm. uh, in Monogram, if you remember, uh, Shri's character, uh, the, guy who, the guy who is the office guy, mm-hmm. uh, 
his character has an entire girlfriend in the girlfriend who hmm. who has a connection with Regina Cassandra's character and all of it. That's all of it comes. It's, yeah, yeah. It all is of convenient. it comes suddenly. Yeah, yeah. It it's convenient. very convenient. It's very yeah, convenient, yeah. and But it's it... very quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's short and. Ha. Huh. Which is why that Leo connection suddenly, suddenly I was like, wow, <laughs> that's a very weird thing to repeat. But uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, what did you think of that that action sequence which happens where he's trying to burn off the whole and the the the, the drone zooms past like three times? And... I honestly think the flashback action sequence did not work as much as the final action sequence in that same warehouse. Mm. I think the final action sequence is done much better. I think the flashback action sequence uses too much of the moko board. Hmm. I think so because hmm. when the mokobot was going about the the drone right which goes zoom yeah yeah the, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when you see that you realize that in the ground the people weren't doing much they were just hmm. untying people and you know trying to hit people or something or the other but there wasn't much of a fighting going on and even uh, in the flashback ka action sequence there isn't too much of a fighting while he's trying to burn everything down so It's, what I thought was. And huh. I was like, when have we ever seen a fight action sequence where hero is not the central thing? True. Like true. because the camera zooms past Vijay, and the hmm. character is still living in that reality and still fighting in that. Yeah, reality. yeah, yeah. I think that's what single takes also do, right? It just puts you in that reality. More or less, right? yeah. Because hmm. you get to know, okay, this character can walk and run and jump and all also in the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that kind of bit. I agree with you. The real, the 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 taste. And the aesthetic of the action in the flashback is very different from yes. in general, which But, in some cases worked for me. Like, like I understand what Vijay. I understand that the hmm. flashback is also meta textually Vijay's commercial zone just completely running wild. Hmm, 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 hmm. It's like that is Vijay from Thupaki. That is Vijay from that is Vijay. Yeah, from yeah, yeah. Epic Marcel. <laughs> It's like that. <laughs> Let's not go to Marcel, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. Let's there. not go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. At yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not. So, huh? Go ahead. But, but I feel the good part is the 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 flashback doesn't last too long. Also, I like because in many of your films, hmm. there have been times when like let like I know we shouldn't bring Marcel. I just said but in Marcel, yeah, yeah. flashback lasts too long that we forget what was happening in the other narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Narrative. There are three. I do. I don't even remember how many. Yeah, it's like too much of a long time. Like I think somebody made a joke that Vishwarupam's flashback is so long, Kamala sir had to make another movie. That's just what just to put in the present sequence. And then the Vishwarupam yeah. wasn't good either. Like I, different topic for a different day. But I mean, let's I mean let's be fair. Even Bahubali was the same thing. Raja I agree. Bahubali is also also was the same thing. Bahubali I, was, but I'm saying Bahubali was super nice. Bahubali two was just crammed and just, just yeah 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 two or something and not being itself. Yeah yeah yeah. Thing. So hmm. I think I agree with you in all that. So I think because it didn't last too long, we were back quickly in the in our normal narrative, like the present day narrative. Again, And it's a very tricky balance, right? Because we are is, saying that it did not last too long, but also we are also agreeing that it should have lasted just a tad bit longer. Because it compromises on yes. so many things. We yes. just discussed about all that. And yes. right after that, we have the whole chase sequence, right? Yeah, and also, also, I, I think I did not think about it later, but you are right. A lot of things happen in a single night. I think the cramming of yeah, all those yeah. events in a single night also yeah. kind of sort of compromised it to a certain degree. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, when things are happening in a single night, you are kind of also put. I that's what I feel. I think it's a good screenwriting hack. Mm -hmm. When narratives take place in a certain single thing, like how what KD is also the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put in a certain situation with the characters, mm -hmm. and you have to live that reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you give it time, then you're yeah. kind of like, oh, okay, it's just another scene. It's another scene. It's another scene. Here, you're like, okay, so it's all happening in the same night. The tension stays technically. Yeah. In, technically, a... the tension stays, but then again, that is why. But that is why the place, the placement of the flashback during that single night sequence is what compromises that tension True. also. True, I agree with you. I agree. I think the flashback should have been. I don't know how. I don't know what is the solution for that at the I moment. I can. I. I have a. I think if the flashback had been interspersed just a tad bit, you know, like mm. dream sequences or like maybe maybe flashes. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. If you had done something it. like that, if you had done something like that, could have worked. 
there's one more thing that i wanted to say like i mean i'm comparing cronenberg's work now the history yeah. of violence a history of violence um there's a sequence right where he's um, he sleeps and the next morning he gets up uh, in his um, diner and he sees that black car and then he runs right yeah back to his home yeah 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 there i felt the dread because i knew something wrong could happen yeah 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 here the sequence i don't feel the dread but i feel the consequences were more important to that kind of motive yeah yeah, yeah. which i think i think it's it's reversed which shouldn't be the case because i shouldn't feel be the case yeah worry about them much more than the consequences right yeah 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 exactly which, and i mean i i think so we are comparing it's i think we are comparing two, two completely films. different films and two completely different film makers absolutely but i'm saying the intent of that moment was very faithful in the cronenberg's mm-hmm. version while yeah. i haven't read the comic book i'm just saying but i felt the the the, the yeah that was that that huh. actually was quite faithful that actually was quite faithful the yeah. cronenberg version during that sequence that actually was quite yeah. good because that was the intent mm. to show the dread that was the intent mm-hmm. here you are right it, it felt slightly off it yeah. felt slightly off here because and, it was more worried about the consequence of trisha feeling what is happening with us exactly yeah that was the main thing yeah her. yeah 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 and uh, also i think that uh, but again from a positive angle i think the sun character was developed quite well i hmm. great acting by uh, great acting by the kid yeah He's great acting in balangi nights also yeah and great acting by a whole lot of other malayalam films yeah I yeah great acting really nice. he's really good he's, he's really, really good, good. fantastic acting by trisha i think his hmm. her chemistry with vijay is really good i yeah, yeah, yeah. i really liked it too yeah yeah genuinely well done uh <laughs> weird <laughs> bit of weird bit of you know controlling the hyena and calling him subramani or whatever the hell they call him in the hindi version it's a mass it's, movement i don't yeah. know what is the hindi name that they give subramani only no no some some jawan cut to something or the other i have no idea what the, So I think it's a very good mass moment when uh, yeah. Aina enters back into that. I I know that it's a mass moment, but again I'm like, okay, but even in an even in an heightened reality, you try to pet a Aina is a bit too much. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> I I agree with you. Much. I agree Can't with you to a certain extent, but to a certain extent, I wanted to live for that mass moment technically. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. So so yeah. I feel I feel it's. I mean, we've spoke. We have come too far in the narrative to go back to the same point that we spoke about, about the film being a hundred percent Lokesh Khanna Raj film. But I feel he also wanted that kind of moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, a hundred percent Lokesh Khanna Raj film is still a Tamil commercial movie with his Western yeah. sensibilities sprinkled in. Yeah, so yeah, yeah he, absolutely, absolutely. He, um, he's not. He can chip away the sentimentality of Tamil commercial movies all he wants. I mean, yeah. he he's been doing that slowly and steadily. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, even even you, Karthik Subbaraj. I mean, to props yeah. to him. If you get to, if you've seen Pizza, right? His, I've seen Pizza. It's a bloody good film. Bloody good film. Yeah. Bloody I good. I urge you to watch Arivi, which I really love. From I will. Movie. I will watch that movie. Yeah. Subbaraj is a fantastic director. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I I have doubts on him on his writing now. But yeah. I feel his writing in his earlier movies was fantastic. I I love Jigar Tanda, Ravi Pizza, and mm-hmm. even Petta. I really like that those films. Um, that I'm, movie is divisive. I have seen a lot of people don't like which that. film Petta. I have seen a lot of people don't like that movie. Hmm. Uh, okay, I mean we'll different topic for a yeah. Different we will different topic for different day, but yeah. Uh, but but I would urge you to watch this film because I feel he's a great director too, and I feel there are th- this bunch of new directors are some I I to watch out for. Because yeah, the possibilities yeah. are not. They they are, they are faithful. They are faithful to their idols and to the commercial movie that yeah. had come before. But they are also bringing their own sensibilities to it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, so I think a Nelson sensibility is very different from a Karthik Subbaraj sensibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is very different from a Lokesh Khanna Raj sensibility. They are yeah, very, yeah. very different. They are very unique. But stylistically, as directors, they put yeah, yeah. a stamp, which I feel just. Elevates the film to another level. If if the filmmaker is that has that yeah, kind yeah. of craft, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I genuinely think Leo, as much as flaws it has on a writing level and everything stylistically, this movie is great. I mean, I I really enjoyed it. Some of the some of the I told you some of the editing and some of the transitions really you blew me yeah. away. I'm like, 
nicely done some of them yeah, were yeah, yeah. nicely done and mm, let's I'm, talk yeah. about let's talk about the villains which i mean uh, mm. anthony and harold das i think uh, sanjay dat sanj i think <laughs> sanjay dat was okay uh, mm. i can say sanjay dat was okay he was playing a role which he can play in his sleep to be very honest with you mm. and, i agree that's a very throw away decision to cast sanjay dat i would feel yeah 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 i mean i think they wanted someone extremely macho mm-hmm. and macho menacing and macho menacing yeah. i think they just thought of someone and they got him on i feel it's a last moment decision it's not a well thought yeah. out decision. that's my the take. one guy who impressed me simply by his presence and i'm not talking about johnny master or miskin because those were the first stuff and those mm. those guys should have been those guys should have stuck around longer because those made more of an impression but mm. i think arjun sarja yeah arjun sarja's presence was damn I'm he's like, very charismatic he's very charismatic i'm like he doesn't have i think he's almost nothing to do in this movie almost nothing but simply by his presence is doing so much in this movie and that really he's hmm. he's genuinely a very charismatic star i think if you you've seen uh, this thing film right um, nayak um with anil kapoor yeah 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 yeah, yeah which I've... it was remade from mudalvan it starred uh, arjun sarja yeah directed by shankar only so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. i i saw him first in some film as a villain i forgot like way long back and then yeah. i actually when i started watching films properly then i watched uh, mudalvan and uh, gentleman hmm. both you should watch i think they're super i mean i haven't watched a lot of his other films but these films i really liked him as like a i mean he's 61 yeah. he doesn't he doesn't look like he doesn't look 61 at all yeah. and i'm like and i was so impressed by simply his presence and how he's mm. carrying himself because he's carrying a very natural sort of menace yeah 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 and that that completely works for a, again it's like an actor elevating a very underwritten role yeah 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 absolutely are i now that i remember which was the first film it was uh, mankatha with uh, oh, ajit that one Venk- venkat prabhu yes venkat prabhu. yes yeah, yes yeah. yes Ajit, he's Ajit, the one Ajit. who's the cop, right? Who's trying to? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I remember it. He's that good, like as a villain, like you know. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. not a villain technically. I mean, villain is uh, antagonist, yeah, kind of. Antag, but whatever. As a character actor, I mean, as a star character actor, he's fantastic. I, I feel he's fantastic. He he wasn't fleshed out well. I mean, I saw some moments out of him. He's gone to Canada to study, and okay. then yeah, yeah. international drug trade. There's there's so must be so much. There's so him. much. there's so much both a back story and however you could have done so much of it to him yeah, again yeah. it's like, again it's like so many interesting ideas but it's like he did not he did not find ways to space them out fully mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. i mean to him singular vision of that narrative felt yeah. much more of a thing yeah. than compromising for any other character i think that that probably was the reason i think yeah but probably but yeah, again, this, it, the whole sad bit is for us like i feel for some people i from whatever i have heard they didn't enjoy sandanam as much in vikram which i thought was fantastic vijay sethupathi oh yeah. A, yeah 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 they they want to talk that, about that yeah. right i mean people yeah. speak about yeah, yeah. being not the main thing and all but i was like ah, it was really good i don't know what more did you expect he got a fantastic mm-hmm. production in that auto sequence very oh yeah that that intro sequence of sethupathi oh i'm like <laughs> who, who, who could think like that? Who could think of an intro sequence like that? Like that yeah, yeah. I mean, so I think Vikram itself became like a bane and a boon thing for oh, course, Lokesh, right? And for... yeah, for Lokesh especially, I think because if uh, because if I am going to transition here, I think uh, the LCU connection is the most force fitted connection ever in this movie because honestly, I think Leo could have been a isolated movie and it would have worked wonderfully i think putting it in the lcu i don't know how much it helps hmm. so i think since he wanted to make it part of the universe i think again again being i'm bringing that whole conversation of what felt right to him hmm. so i mean the, the i thought the 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 prostitute character yeah yeah, yeah. The, i thought maybe that's a throw away moment but that's the, a very throw away moment but that's it is connected at the end no Yeah, no, yeah. That still works then. It is connected, but again, it's like just connecting it something or the other. I think the 
better subversion of a connection which he does is introducing napoleon and like and like that's that's well done i'm like that's oh. a nice interesting connection I, uh, i'm like good if you're going to connect it to mcu that's a better way to connect it. Yeah, 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 I don't know how much Maybe of a logistic. I don't know how much of a leap of logic you have to do to bring in Napoleon from fucking Tamil Nadu to Shimla. But sure, man. But let's I go with it. Why? What? Like so many of the so many yeah, yeah. conveniences before. So I feel it's. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. You, I mean, yeah. okay. So I am not so much of a fan of Kaidi, honestly. And we've okay. discussed this before, right? I think so. I, I think I like some time back before we spoke at some point and. Aryan was like that. I should rewatch Kaidi at some point because I need to reassess. I I liked Kaidi. I didn't enjoy it as much, probably because first of all I watched it on my laptop at that mm. point, and also I felt it was just way too convenient. So conveniences are part of the whole universe. Conveniences, yeah, of course, of course. I I'm mean, not, I feel I'm Vikram not... was just astronomically way better for me than Kaidi. I think I think you and I love Vikram a lot. I yeah, think... yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, <laughs> that movie, that movie achieved the thing which I did not expect. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like, you are making a universe. Can you yeah. imagine how difficult it is to make a universe and make a universe with that much conviction? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And give characters so much space to just breathe, yeah. and breathe in, and be in. And you remember we spoke that the first half is not even Vikram; it's it's Amar, right? It's Amar. It's far past it. Just imagine, imagine, just imagine, imagine Kanak Rajput. Imagine also the level for Kamal Hassan as an actor that he gave it away. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Entire half belongs to him. I have no issue. I'm yeah, completely yeah. trusting in your vision. That's the thing. The the we the narrative like as a yeah. you need to make it engaging so that we can folk like you know fly for something like that. That's yeah. the point. And even the moments in in Vikram were just. Too well crafted, like oh yeah, yeah. I feel they were impeccable. Like not one beat was missed, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree with you. So many conveniences, but I don't give a rat's ass. I was yeah, in- yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel I... again, there are conveniences in in Leo as well. But I, I feel- think I think the conveniences are a lot more in Leo. But again, there are so many good ones. Like I was discussing with somebody, and they were like, hmm. "Am I the only one who is thinking this is a mid? This is a mid movie?" I'm like, I'm sure. There are a lot of people who are agreeing with you way more, but yeah. I have seen so many mid movies, Sanjit. Yeah, this yeah. <laughs> entire year, I have seen so many mid movies. I am going to be completely honest with you. There are so many good moments in for Leo. For record, I, for record, yeah. you watch Varisu in cinema, okay? So people... yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I am. Was yes, one, one film which I was like, I will not even go near it, and I ended up watching it, but. Yeah, I mean, but I watched Varisu. You went another, another step. <laughs> yes, so I have seen mid movies. I have seen trash movies, and I am going to be honest with you. Leo has so many good moments in it. I cannot, mm-hmm. for the life of me, and in good conscience, call it a mid movie. No. This is not yeah. a mid movie in no way, shape, or mm-hmm. form. Is it Lokesh Kanagraj's one of his weaker outings? Sure, but again. Hmm. Weaker outing in a five movie streak in which even his most weakest film is still one of his most interesting films. Absolutely, fun films. It's a fun, fun film. films. Yeah. yeah, like I cannot for the I cannot in good conscience say I don't like Master. I like Master. I, I can say I can like the people don't realize the I context like Master. of Tamil movies. That's the first thing you should understand the context of Tamil movies before judging a film like Master. That is what I would try to say. Again, again, I saw I saw Master and I was new and I was no 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 not you not stuff. just you I'm just saying other yeah. audiences as well I know about you I mean I no no but again as a as a person who is a newbie in commercial cinema even I could appreciate the things about Master yeah. what he's yeah. trying to do hmm. from a narrative standpoint and what he's yeah. actually trying to do so I am going to be completely honest and say in a filmography like this Leo. If Leo is one of his weaker films, mm. okay, nobody is perfect. I'm not saying anybody is perfect here, and I also agree with all of his flaws. Mm. It has one of the strongest Thalapati Vijay performances you are ever going to see. Absolutely, Jay. I have it's... not seen Vijay as vulnerable and menacing, or like just wild straight, persona. Straight ever. up, <laughs> straight up, like 
like i'm telling you it's the differentiation between the past and the present right which is why mm. that template works more if mm-hmm. the differentiation mm-hmm. is so apparent yaar when have you ever seen him say that he's a loser exactly he's a loser <laughs> exactly and parthiban and leo mm. are so different characters mm. overall overall they are so different characters mm. you will be mind boggled to think that yeah. these are yeah. done these are the same character and this is done mm. by the same actor Mm-hmm, absolutely sure he is he might not be he might not be like uh, a thespian quote and quote mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. in the commercial space i mm-hmm. urge you to think of a stronger performance no no not even close not even mm-hmm. close i would say i think uh, so we've discussed this again i'm bringing we've discussed because we have discussed so many times yeah. vijay for me has never performed in this way because yeah. i feel the directors like he's you need to give him a good director for that this kind of performance exactly you really need to give him a good director hmm because i feel only then you can get i mean i i'm hearing rumors of vetri maran pitching a film to vijay at some point holy shit but vetri maran already has so many projects in the pipeline you i don't yeah. see it happening in the next 5 6 years i mean you know vetri maran is that kind of a vetri maran is that kind of a guy yeah 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 i mean oh. you, his film with uh, surya called wadi vasal was announced ages back oh and, yeah It hasn't even started shooting. Wala Chennai two hasn't started shooting. It's gonna. Itu thalai part two is coming next year. It was supposed yeah. to come this year, November. So it's he's coming next kind year. Of a filmmaker, you don't yeah. expect him to come anytime soon. But yeah, yeah my, my point is, you really need to give him a good director to make his films work. Is what I would exactly. say. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, of course. And personally, I don't. I don't, I'm all. And personally, I wouldn't want to have a conversation about Lokesh's weaker films or weak film. I had fun. I I don't know why 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 are people's agendas not about having fun with a film like this? Isn't that what it was supposed to happen? Like I feel Vikram's again Vikram again you were also... again you were right again you were right about something though. Again you were right about the expectations. I yeah. think the expectations skyrocketed because Vikram was a boon and a bane to both Lokesh as well as the commercial film industry around yeah. the entirety of India. Yeah. The, I mean. Uh, in with mahidar who's appeared in other episodes also yeah, he's yeah, yeah. think that there's going to be a pre vikram and post vikram effect for sure he's right and he's completely we've seen right so many pro action films fail recently i mean i possibly have forgotten their names also there was a film with uh, a film called michael which came out which i which is oh yeah, yeah yeah i remember yeah uh, i remember I forgot the hero's name but he's the one in managram as well mm mm-hmm. uh, I forgot his name. It's just Sudeep Kishan. Sudeep Kishan. Sudeep Sandeep Kishan. Correct. Correct. Sandeep Kishan. Yeah. Sandeep Kishan. Yeah. So I am saying there are many films that have come that way. Great actor. Great, great actor. I really enjoyed him in Manasa. Yeah. So, great actor. So that's what I'm saying. So many films that have been about universes, part one, part two, part three, they're failing because they don't have that kind of actually know how to tell a story, have that conviction, or have already a prepared universe or a thought out thing before. Yeah. So many factors, and I think just. this post vikram effect has possibly i would say affected leo but i would still say it's a great i in my opinion it's a great fun film you need to really watch it to have fun it's you a fun film it's a fun film it's a very it's i genuinely think it's still a very good film i think mm. it's one of mm. the better films of this year mm. it's not great according to me but i think this film will actually have a much more better shelf life when it will come on ott i uh, i i i think in retrospective this film is going to work much better it's it's much, going to work much, much better. better i think once the hype dies down and people yeah. will actually start to notice what the movie Absolutely. is actually about yeah. because the movie has too much of a good stuff the movie's too pacing too much yeah, the, yeah 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 there's so much to appreciate in it it's well made it's a it's a properly well made film i you, i will so i can appreciate i can i can i can uh, Point out some of the flaws, like the final chase sequence with the CGI usage. I think the CGI felt the tad bit video gamey. Mm-hmm. I, I I thought so in the chase sequence. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It felt a bit video gamey. Some of the car, some of the car overturning sequences also felt a bit video gamey. But I think CGI mm-hmm. is used much better here than it was used in say Managram. Uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, at I'm least comparing like film which was comparing made, like twenty seventeen and twenty. 20- Twenty twenty three. Yeah, yeah, but but I feel the, I feel I went ahead with the intent of the. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sequence. I was loving it because I was like, oh, the I I gas I gasped when I was watching that sequence. Mm-hmm. So I clearly was with 
I was okay with that kind of CG, honestly. I get it. I agree uh, with you. Again, to be fair, uh, again, okay. to be fair, if we are going to again, if to be fair, if we are going to criticize a movie's final act sequence as a guy riding a motorcycle and maintaining a gun, gun to his shoulder while the other guy is shooting, let me remind you in Master, in Master Vijay actually takes a bow and arrow and I'm shoots sure five trucks. <laughs> okay, yes. that is that one bit in Master which I absolutely disliked. Which I was like, why does it this need to why be? Why does this exist? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. It is a good film. Like people should yes. give it a chance. I mean, I feel again we've discussed so much now, and we are almost at the end of the episode. But like, Lokesh's knack of writing uh, action needs yes. to be appreciated quite a lot because I feel on paper, absolutely it's well written. Mm-hmm. May or may not work for people. That's a separate thing. But since we are appreciating. His shooting of action sequences for a movie which is supposedly very long and very quote unquote boring or whatever the hell. <laughs> there are so many action sequences in this movie. The yeah, yeah. diner the diner action sequence, it's edited so well. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's edited so, so well. It's cut so well. Uh, yeah, yeah. The overall the action sequence, the Haina opening opening action sequence in the enclave with the drone and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. all that's well done. That's yeah. very I mean, well yeah. done. The the whole sequence with the the diner sequence, it's it's a, everything is about what is around the character. Exactly. It is so much important about that. And the, every movement works in that. The chocolate coffee requirement, and when sarcastically Mishka says chocolate coffee and all that. So <laughs> yeah, 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 that was right, and yeah. it cuts to our exterior also what's happening inside and it, it stops for a while. It yeah. stops for a second where everyone's taking a breath and then they charge again and all that. So you are put into reality that it, there is diegetic music, first of all. That's not yes. that of course. So you are in that reality. You are in that things. reality, yeah. So and again, like it's so much fun when he uses things around to make that action sequence work, right? Yes. Like in Vikram also. We loved how that action sequence takes place in the whole house, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are pencil stabbing. There, there are pencil stabbing. So much. I think these. Vikram. I think Vikram was quite. This movie is also very brutal. That entire fight sequence in the bazaar. Jesus mm. Christ! Yeah. That bazaar fight sequence is brutal. Huh? Yeah. Like, oh damn! How are you choreographing that? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and, see the beast, the real beast inside him at that point. Like he's actually that. Yeah. You know the the yeah yeah and the fine and in that uh where is that the final action sequence uh in the warehouse remember, yeah in the warehouse if you remember when he finally fights through so many of those people and when he climbs up the camera is following him like it's changing perspectives and following him and climbing up through the gateway yeah 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 I remember yeah yeah and that was also quite well done and he I... yeah and finally the fight scene goes inside the office which finally ends into you know that entire thing of him finally yeah, the rolling the of the revolver yeah, yeah. which again was taken from bullet train and I'm like of all movies locate you had to take it from bullet train really <laughs> that but, movie but, huh, but yeah I agree with you but also nice homages in general again yeah, to yeah. Kamalasan the female yeah. character is Satya yeah. yeah 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 the, the again. person um this guy is uh, like Arjun Sarj, like uh, hmm. shit, what is the character's name? He's calling have, his henchman yeah. in, in Shimla, right? Or wherever. Yeah. In Himachal, um, to his henchman who's going to kill his wife. His name on phone is Guna, which is another oh, yeah. Kamal Hassan film. Yeah, yeah. So I really like all these touches, man. Honestly, yeah. this is my kind of fun. Yeah, like, really like, like, of course, it's like... I when I saw Master, I was like, Lokesh Kanagraj is a Kamal Hassan fanboy. Yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah. Like Karthik Subraj is a Rajni Khan fanboy. Lokesh Kanagraj is a Kamal Hassan fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Which is why it's going to be very interesting when we finally see his Rajni Khan movie. Which I'm like, okay, what are you going to do? I have <laughs> no idea. And so I have what no expectations doing? again, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, want oh. to have expectations. Just you do you, man. Like I really... You do you, man. Seriously. What are you going to do? I am really interested to see what you are going to do. But again, I genuinely think the LCU connection is still, I think, very ancillary. I don't know whether mm. it would have worked, honestly, as a version of LCU, but okay. Mm. I am more interested I am more interested to actually see uh, Vijay and uh, Kamal Hassan on mm. the screen. Mm-hmm. I, I, 
that is one interaction i really i have i have no idea what's going to happen i have really better no write idea. a good movie for that you better <laughs> yeah yeah you shit out of that i don't care take your time just write take your time write it and i'm yeah. like because i know this guy can direct well he can make action he can make so many things work it's the writing that matters the most honestly is the writing that matters the most uh, i don't care I, i like leo i like leo enough i expect vikram level writing in that in that in that i expect, I expect just good that. writing i honestly don't want anything simple as yeah. that <laughs> yeah 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 like he's that, making that's our, that's our hope he, for them <laughs> yeah yeah he's like he's making a rolex solo movie he's making a kaidi 2 movie he's making a leo 2 movie and he's also going to retire after 10 years i'm like slow your roll man what are you doing just slow down slow down i, mean, I okay. think he's he cares about his legacy he does care about his legacy so he sh- bl- should bloody take time and write something properly yeah, i don't yeah, want yeah. to see another film for another 2 years i'm okay with that because i think the gap between vikram and uh, leo is not even a it's, it's year and a half it's a year and a half yeah hmm. year and a half I, i remember he was working head on on vikram um they were i think they were earlier planned to release it in april and then may and then it finally released in june yeah because he was really working hard on it so he didn't really have a lot of time to hmm. write leo you know it was i, yeah. I hope and I, i'm actually very interested to see what he's going to do with rolex because i'm i actually how think flesh out yeah. so much out of i don't know I'm, but i th- but i think he's very he's very good at writing gangster he's very good at writing people on the fringes you know he's very mm-hmm. good at writing mm-hmm. people on the criminal elements because even in managram the best parts are the parts of the gangsters like mm-hmm. i agree with yeah. you i agree with yeah. you yeah those are the parts which are the best those are the parts which are the funniest mm-hmm. so it's like it's like those parts is very good at yeah but again i agree with you take your time and write it man just yeah. flesh them out it's okay you know it, Uh, again it's like you made a universe great don't be beholden to it it's no. at the end of the day it's your creative endeavor just do you yeah. man and also don't probably blind yourself with indulgences because yeah beyond the point we also probably won't enjoy few things i mean i enjoyed so many things in this i mean i am still mm. i am still with the loki indulgence like i am not the, i am not i'm not Uh-huh. No, I'm talking about blinding indulgence, which yeah, 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 happens many times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Often, it happens a lot. Yeah, like don't be, don't become inari to or athlete. Please, <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I beg you, please don't. Like I enjoy Jawan for what it is, but come on, man. Uh-huh. So yeah, Jawan again. We, I mean, you guys have discussed so much of it, but again, Jawan can only work in a certain yeah, yeah. But not again. It doesn't have a longer shelf life. That's what my take away from yeah 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 leo course. does have one and leo leo i think does have one and i honestly think that leo again i genuinely think leo will leo will have a bigger shelf life in ot hmm yeah i mean it's, in retrospective it'll, it's going to work i feel when other films come out in the universe it's going to work really well i feel it's going to work well and i also and i think one of the bigger problems i think in this movie is not even related to the movie itself it's in the release schedule i don't know what hmm. what the entire point of this but the fact that leo wasn't released in national movie chains like pvr inox and everything that's sad because i feel i yeah. mean i mean they, so the producer s shashikant he is very in famous for all these things he did the same with um, apparent i'm i what this is whatever i've read this is what he did with this with uh, kartik subaraj's mahan as well the vikram yeah. film he mm-hmm. released it entirely on ott right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. People were still wanting to see Vikram on the big screen. It was one Vikram film which was actually good in so many years, because you know Vikram's other pro- like so we are digressing. But Vikram's other problems are instead of listening, like making a good film with a good script, he obsesses over characters. Yes, you've seen his films. He's obsessing even the the bad ones. Like I've seen Iru Mugan in theater. The characters he played the hero and the villain. The villain was like an effeminate uh, yeah, kind yeah. of persona. the characters are interesting but the film is so hmm bland like, yeah bland i mean so mahan directed by kartik subaraj great film should have been in cinemas but again as shashikant the, the i mean he was also one of the distributors and co-producers on uh, master and master uh. came out on ott within two weeks again master came out during the pandemic we true true yeah. but he is in famous for making all these the, the the cinema owners were very unhappy with 
सलमान खान Look so, at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at Vijay. Look at him. Sure, look but at you know what people like about Salman Khan is his attitude. Yeah, his attitude. Confidence that he carries himself. In. Even though he might be doing the most outlandish things, which probably would look stupid in other otherwise. But it's the, his stardom is is like his stardom. You can compare with someone like Pawan Kalyan. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. We are very Absolutely. someone with that that kind of attitude. That attitude sells more than anything else, actually. Yes. That's why. Mm, but, that's 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 a different kind of stardom. But yeah, but Vijay, point, Vijay, you know, yeah, but he, Vijay's attitude, Vijay's charisma, Vijay's charisma, and Vijay's typical Vijay's. Buddy, he, the way he dances in Narit, Narit. Oh, holy God! Holy crap! I I want he to get up and just I'm like, hold my head in my hands. I was like, what is happening? This is so good. Yeah, and like uh, I remember Varisu's review by Pratyush Par uh, Pratyush, right? In the film company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember mm-hmm. his review, and he's like, he's like, Thuni Vu came out that same same yes. week, right? Same weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same Class. weekend, and and he's like, he's like Thuni Vu might be a better film, but no other film has a star so devoted to his audience that the camera is literally focusing on Vijay and staying still yeah, yeah. while Vijay is dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera worships the star image. Camera yeah, worships the star, and when you are seeing Vijay Nareddy, you look at his speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, shit, man! I'm like, what are you? At some point, I'm like, what so, are you? He's doing? so he's such a good. I think he's even though he's in his mid forties, whatever. But he's, he's in mid forties. Yeah, yeah, you can do so much with him. <laughs> But, and that is why I'm so glad that Kanak Raj is using him in age-appropriate roles, especially absolutely. with Leo. And yeah. the fact that, and the fact that I hope Leo does well, good mm. business. Because if that means that Vijay could be persuaded to do more age-appropriate and more roles like this, mm. good man, do do stuff like this because you yeah, can do yeah. it. There is a yeah. gear in you that you can do it. Yeah, we've seen like even in Jawan, the more at least for me. The the better portion was Vikram Rathod, the older guy. The, the older guy. Charisma to, you know, actors okay. playing age appropriate uh, roles uh, also in, in certain ways. Again, way. again, uh, Jawan. Again, Jawan is a Jawan is a series of strings of plot threads and everything which is connected by one singular rod, and that is Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan is the one thing that is holding that entire movie yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. No other actor could have held that entire movie for three hours. No, I'm no. sorry. I agree with you. I agree with you. But but my point being, stars who probably probably could do age appropriate roles, they would work in many ways. They would work. I, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, this guy, Ajit has been doing the same for so many years. He did uh, the remake of Pink as Amitabh Bachchan's. Yeah. You know, the same role. I forgot the title of the. Yeah, I also forgot. Na parvai. Yeah, kunda parvai. I think Ajit's problem, and I haven't seen many movies of his. I think Ajit's problem is he sticks with the same director for for. He uh, did three films back to back with the same director. H. V. Note, H. V. Note, who's yeah. making a film with Kamal Hasan now? So I am yeah. excited. But if you yeah. see H. V. Note's first film, uh, Tiran, Adigaru. Tiran, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Very nice film. I okay. think he's a good director. He's weighed down by Ajit's stardom. That's mm. the thing. and i mean this is again a different topic for a different discussion we might come to it for sure at some point but i feel ajit worked very well with him as in his star, first movie more than with shiva if you see his films with shiva vidalam veeram vishwasam vivegam yeah okay those are some headaches diminishing that I returns, because yeah. i wanted to watch ajit okay yeah diminishing returns of the highest order yes 
but I mean, I still like Ved Alam. That's the only star film that of his that I've liked in the last few years. But the others have just been okay. I've really endured for Ajit. So I mean, again, you know. again, I'm going to be uh, again. If if there is a director like Kanagraj who can convince a star like Vijay to yeah. shed his star persona for the majority of the movie and give a performance like this, yeah. In no, what no. world is that movie not interesting? I still don't understand this. I think we sold the movie enough at this point. Yeah, yeah, we have sold the movie enough. If you can't understand, Sanjeev loves this movie. I really um, like this. Closing movie. thoughts. I think we yeah. should jump into closing thoughts. I ah, think I think you should definitely watch this. If you definitely. can't find it in a the theater because tickets are sold out or you don't want to watch a Hindi dub, wait a month. It's coming out in Netflix within a month. Watch it. It's fun. Just watch it. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. I mean, just watch. Please it. don't weigh your self with expectation. I think that's. I think it, there's the dialogue in. I mean, uh, I mean, we can't be. I mean, we, right. expectations really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not really fair, like. also, because it's a Loki movie, and I understand that expectations are also something of a sort. Yeah. But yeah. all I'm saying is, uh. all I'm saying is, just don't have unrealistic expectations. That's all. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Just don't. It's have... a very, it's a very well-made commercial action movie, and I'm yeah. going to be honest with you; those are a rarity. Yeah, well, those are a rarity. Big rarity. Yeah, yeah. big rarity. And I below, and I see Bengali commercial movies. <laughs> Believe me, those are a rarity. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> you watched Dosho Mabutar. I saw Dosho Mabutar. It's still Shiji Puka. Okay, so wait, this is the third part in Baishre Baishre Srabon. Okay, so we are digressing just a slightly here. So <laughs> it's the third part, yes, but it's also a prequel. It's a prequel to Baishre oh, Srabon. I have seen Baishre Srabon. I didn't watch with your Purush. Do not. Do not. High you recommendation. Know, high so, recommendation. I, I know we are digressing, but like for just a minute. Past. I really used to like Shrijit uh, Mukherjee because I had seen three of his films. At that in 20, I'm talking 2014, because... Let, let me guess. You have seen Autograph, you have seen Baishya Sravon, you have seen Hemlock Society. And Chotushkone. And Chotushkone. I didn't watch Autograph. I had seen Hemlock Society, uh, Baishya Sravon. Baishya Sravon and Chotushkone, yes. Chotushkone. And I, I thought he's brilliant. There is, there is Autograph. Autograph is great. And uh, there is another movie called Jati Shor, which is very good. Those mm-hmm. are the golden age of Srijit Mukherjee after which he has gone down a sleep this steep decline and he's producing dog shit after dog shit. To the extent, to the extent that Doshomobota, I cannot in good conscience say that it's a great film or it's even a good film. But Doshomobota okay. is squarely in the guilty pleasure and it's a very fun film because okay. the dialogues are insanely hilarious. It's hilarious. The banter is hilarious. Is it like so bad that it's good? Kind no, no, no. Of... It's like hilarious. It's funny. Like oh. Proshenjit, like Proshenjit Chatterjee, like within 10 years of his movie making career, Proshenjit Chatterjee has been, you know, forcing himself to think, oh my God, I haven't cut loose. I haven't, you know, cursed. I haven't, you know, insulted for over 10 years since Vaisya Sabur. And in one movie, he insults so much. Like Shijit has crafted dialogue specifically for him. It's hilarious. I laughed out loud in the theater. It's like I had a blast watching this movie. Okay, but so should I watch it or no then? No, don't waste your money. Wait, <laughs> wait for Hoi Choi. Wait for Hoi Choi. It will come out on Hoi Choi. Watch it on Hoi Choi. But it's funny. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's okay. it's extremely bad also because like there is so much slow motion in this movie. There is speed ramping to the nth degree. Wow. Like guy enters a bar He's putting a beetle leaf in his mouth. He's like throwing away a glass of whiskey. All of it is done in slow-mo. I'm like, why? Why are you doing this? What is this? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. In in final, final closing thoughts. Yes. We would like to recommend you to watch this film. We uh, would recommend you wholeheartedly to watch this film. Fun film, action film, don't have expectations. Good. Yes. Vijay film, great Vijay film. Uh, good, great which film, film good good loki loki film good loki good loki film have fun um thank you so much for listening to this episode please share it with friends uh please rate us on spotify it really helps us to reach out to more people and review us on apple podcasts if you listen to us on um apple podcasts of course mm-hmm. um please please share it thank you so much for, for uh, listening to us you can follow amartya on his instagram page at amartya25 you can follow us on our instagram page at queensdead.filmpodcast Please follow me or you can follow me on um, pixel underscore Baba. 
प्लीज प्लीज सपोर्ट अस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग इज द एंड ऑफ द एपिसोड खत्म खत्म कहा से करना